I think it would be an understatement to say that we are all shaken by what happened in Abbotsford. Um, as a mother um, of a 15-year-old uh, who also goes to school every day, we all think about every day, each of us as parents, um, we'll often, we hug our children, we think about how much we love them. And every once in a while, we also think about what it would be like to lose them. And I think it's fair to say that for any parent, the loss of a child is the most frightening prospect and absolutely the most painful thing that can happen in a parent's life. And so I'm shaken, I'm shocked. I think that that would be true of everyone in British Columbia and, and certainly every Canadian today, knowing what's happened in Abbotsford. I will say, though, um, that we should be, uh, we should feel secure in the knowledge that our schools in this country and in this province are by far some of the safest places for kids to be, without question. And um, in Abbotsford, um, one of the reasons that that school remained safe, or as safe as it could be despite this tragic and awful attack, is the fact that two senior staff stepped in um, and probably saved a life. They thought fast, they showed real courage, and, um, and one of those children is, is alive today because of that. So I'd like to, on behalf of all British Columbians, uh, offer our most sincere thanks to those folks at the school who stepped in and, and um, uh, the senior staff, the students who stepped in to help. I mean, I just think it shows incredible courage in the face of something so shocking. And last, um, I, to end where I started, um, which is to just, it is to really offer just uh, a heartfelt um, uh, <clears throat> condolences to the, to the parents of these children. Um, it is the worst loss a parent uh, uh, anyone can suffer, and they're feeling that today.